Hey YouTube, I'm just letting y'all know. Oh boy, oh god, that's a little too close. Um, I'm just letting y'all know that this vid is going to be a little bit rushed. So it's not my typical content where I'm like, well, I was gonna try to do this ahead of time. I'm like, all right, I'm making a script for this because I thought this, the um, the 20 million um campaign was supposed to be next week, but uh. I got notified of this on Wednesday. So, I, uh, yeah, as you can tell, I have to get this video out in a matter of a night. So, um, sorry if it's not up to my usual par of quality. So, I'm just letting y'all know that now. So, thanks and thanks a lot. And I hope you enjoy this vid of a random cat running around with their head cut off, screaming at the bloody world. Yes, and thank you. How's it going on YouTube? Uh, it's your boy SpeckyX3 here, and bringing you today a new, just a little casual vid of some sort. It's unscripted, so if you hear me stuttering, I stutter because I'm not gonna lie. Bro, I was not expecting uh, the 20 million download event to happen so quickly so let's just get right to the event like vid and talk about number like start off with number five real quick right because there's only gonna be five of them number five is on the board screen now <laughs> heracles now heracles is like i like a lot of people say is the beginner friendly best anchor in the game now don't get me wrong i love me heracles but the issue with Heracles is he may be good. He may be the knight in shining armor that everyone believes he is to be. But with his like simple, sim simple deck, very simple deck, as you can see on the screen here, he has a very simple skill case. But the only issue I have with him is he is a good anchor now. He's like, he's like pretty meh, mediocre right now, but he gets better. When he's bond 10 that's like the only thing i will say about him is i have one issue with this like yeah he's good but he's a little dated not in like he's like good in a good way but like not really good in a good way if you catch my drift he's like kind of dated but his kit is still there berserker still is the strongest berserker there is <laughs> boy's gonna save everyone's little child and little sister as much as he wants to but yeah there there you go he still is that but what i recommend yeah no if you're new this is like a nice little banner just for like everyone else like veterans might not have them some new players don't have them and some people probably just starting out with the 20 million dollar so this is a little bit to help out y'all so for me number five i will say is heracles i'll give him a good eight out of ten right now if you build a team around him, he, like for boss fights and stuff, because he's he's more of an anchor kind of deal. But if you build around him, he should be he should be shiny and he should be very great. All right. Quattro. Next up on the list is interesting enough. Thomas Edison. Is Thomas Edison now? A lot of people are like, wait, what? Thomas Edison? What, why why would you use such a man? You mad lad? Mostly because of this ability right here. This is the ability right there, right there. That's on your screen. He's the main reason buffing up his stuff. And he is a good buffer. A boy can just buff everybody. I'll put the screens up on screen here so people can you can just see it. He does good stuff. He's tanky and he gets he's mostly gets the job done. He is a very, very good and interesting character. Just he's just very slept on, even very slept on by me because I did not even know my boy. Um, and do half the stuff he did i was like i got him i'm like all right i'll level him up give him some resources so he's at max level and all that stuff so i can use him later apparently this dude does pretty decent damage does he loop no eggs no you just witnessed it right there but he's a really good support he does damage he his double phantasm does really good work 
really good work target debuffs cooldown reduction i rephrase that cooldown reduction not many units in the game can do that he's uh pretty good i ain't gonna lie solid like good solid little awful little support now is he like a castoria and all that no but he's unique he does the stuff just like how i compare um a lot of people always try to say tamamo like tamamo was like oh, off meta i'm like tamamo still has her merits like yes everyone uses castoria which i'm probably gonna start doing next but then again um queen of sky got me by like the wallet so there's there's that so there's there's that little thing but i recommend you get edison edison's really good um if you want to get like off support but that's just one of my recommendation all right on to the next one like editing all uh, including slow intro input in number three here please you guys like being tossed around and being dominated by blonde girls with drill heads well number three is for you astrea the love rival to rin in the anime but it's like oh wow i'm all awesome. that's all right no don't worry about it. she is actually not bad you know she is i will recommend a little bit higher up on the list because of literally could you not her kit pretty pretty okay pretty okay for a four star but here's the big thing about Astrea is a she likes to flip people b it's not because she's a roller in the early game you're not fighting anything outside of uh outside of like avengers avengers don't show up until probably what like oh i ain't gonna say close to lost but probably probably like Babylon. that's probably when the last time oh spoiler but then again it's not that much of a spoiler i'm like saving y'all time anyway so i'm letting y'all know now um yeah no she's actually not that bad she does a good target attacking the but no, attack and defense buff and she actually very interestingly actually can loop a little bit well and she gets like ignore invisibility on her noble phantasm she's pretty good peak wifey material bro if you like girls with six packs and like it loves to wrestle people i recommend her and she's single target which is really useful because kid you not man moon cancers are not that really rare but i ain't gonna lie you'll be glad when you go into a quest when you gotta deal with damage and you need somebody that can take that can take the damage and like actually dish it back out very well but not many people can do that you know but as it onward keep on word on word the next one i think everyone will probably like this one because this one's like a no-brainer don't mind me um yeah dang man i kind of wonder who the next person is i am the bone of my soul steel is my body and fire is my blood i have created over a thousand blades unknown to death or known to life help is to pay to create many weapons yet those hands will never hold anything so as i pray unlimited blade what yeah you guessed it it's your boy emia now most people are like well why isn't emia number two who's at number one i'll get to number one you'll be a little surprised by it but nah so i'm going to say emia here because emia is actually not a bad and i fucked it up meanwhile oh great all right back after like screwing myself over again let me show you so who else was, what was i oh yeah that's right um talking about my boy emia emia is like number two now because most people are like but emia why is he not like why would you use emia he's a buster buster guy to be honest bro i'm going to be honest with y'all this dude has way too many buffs but the only reason why he's not being at number one is because the person that i put in number one actually will be to me because i think a lot of people because arts are is like going to be a big really big heavy thing he's going to probably be better but 
just to talk about him my boy got a little basic as invade and my boy can make a shit ton of like crit stars and he can do the one thing of oh i screwed it up my fellow americans wait wait man i can recover i can recover this i can recover from this i can recover don't worry all right now nah, i got this so thank you Oberon. no nah, we can recover from this okay so now nah. with him he can loop because he can do a lot because i think it, with his no phantasm because he can swap over to arts and with his like broken like early game mp charge up and they didn't change his mp like up on for his like freaking double phantasm my boy can get him some nice little overcharge as <laughs> so he's really good at it. smack it will be a lot more higher if i had a castoria i will have a castoria but no i know better now i recommend it he can three wave and he's actually really good at his job now the only thing i will say about him is if you have a way to get a kaleidoscope is nine times out of ten probably better for him but or you could probably get imaginary element whichever suits you close your boat but i feel like personally he will be a good number two now onward to the next guest Ooh. onward to number one but wait there's more y'all really thought i was just not going to do an honorable mention it's not nah. And you thought I'm not going to talk about the best girl in the pack? Bro, nah. I got to represent best girl real quick, bro. Nah, you, I would recommend, like, for people who are crazy and based enough to pick best girl Tam Lingawain, or a.k.a. Bargy. Argus, if you want to be a generic little dickhead, but nah. Go for Bargy. She is really, really, she's actually really good. Now, she is a good soloer, as you could tell from looking at on my other content event. She's good. She can heal herself. She does bonus damage in the sunlight. Oh, look at that. We're in the sun. So she's actually getting better buffs. Um, she can take away. She can heal. She can basically. She's also a pseudo support for the team, which is really, really nice. Now, most people will be like, oh, well, she's not that bad, right? We can do it. Also, another benefit for us, which is also to drive it home for people to realize she is technically story locked. So actually grabbing her is actually a smart thing because then you don't have to summon on the cringe banner. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the? And I am doing you a favor. She does mediocre damage, but you can make up with it by kind of quasi building around her, right? Building around that, or you'd be like me who likes to sit there and play chess while moving like molasses. She does good damage. She reduces her own cooldown with her noble phantasm, which is one of the few people that can actually do that but and also she's big and she muscle and she's like literally living up to her name a dog she's cute she's cute and adorable you should get her all right and yeah that's basically all i can say about her no she's she's still good um do it do it um if you do like her and pick her or actually got to this far uh like uh comment um bargy's the best you know because why not? Also, I want to feed my ego to spread the good world word of best girl. Like y'all people that's freaking down bad for freaking Oregon of all people. But by all means, is y'all a ticket? Use it. There's some honorable mention. Mm-hmm. 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 all right last one up on the honorable mentions because there was another one up here is saber oh is salter now for most people who don't understand salter most people are like oh she's not all that good right now however she does she is going to get a buff in a year or two if you want to play the long game she's really perfectly fine her charisma and her charisma pretty lackluster that's like the worst skill on her whole kit but she does got a battery it's a little 20 percent battery but most people are like oh 20 percent batteries is me like bad she does good damage but her noble phantasm also good for 10 so she racked to actively she got like 30 percent battery well her mp is based off her mp charge is based off her overcharge but it's 
little, 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 little bit of not really too much of a big worry there, but she's good. She can do her own thing. She's still good, and she's going to probably become one of the best farming units back in, in the future. But she's also a A tier waifu as well, because all you gotta do is give her a few burgers, and then she is ripe as rain. Don't get me wrong, she's good. Except you also have your own easier, like Excalibur Morgan. To be honest, I kind of like Salter a little bit better than our like regular, like vanilla ice cream vanilla freaking build on ice cream saber a little saber but i am a uh, very much of a hipster i do like myself some bean but yeah no i recommend if you want to like be crazy enough and actually want to hold out to the end go for um go for um salter and if you pick salter comment down below if you pick any of my characters that pick any of my picks i did Comment it down below. Pick or or you could just say no to this, but if you watch it, just say thanks for the vid or something in the comments section below. Perfectly fine. It's not like I don't want to not like I'm rushing this vid or anything. <laughs> Alright. No. All shits and giggles for side to the side. Let's go to number one. You might actually be a little bit surprised with number one. Another one. I wanna be honest. I thought I was like done. I'm like, alright, I got the script and all that stuff done, but for this one that is probably gonna be a lot more out of order i am letting y'all know i am actually there's one more person i am going to put on the honorable mentions and the person that i'm putting on there is like tamlin tristan now the reason why i'm going to put tamlin tristan on there is because it's a very interesting unit like yeah she doesn't got involved pierce and all that stuff but she works like um well, actually, it's Bulbous. Well, I'm just going to go on ten lines, Tristan, but it's Bulbous. But y'all know who I'm talking about. She is a very interesting unit that could play around with in dot damage, which is a very interesting. Also, because of the last event, I uh, when we were at the like, do I'm trying to sit here and remember which event it was. I think it was the um, the last Lotto event where we were using her and we for the freaking the goddamn uh, crabs and stuff but then i'm like all right cool but then i'm like okay what else can she do and i'm like oh she can increase her own quick performance like she is has a very quasi selfish build but is actually to be honest not all that bad to like it's like yeah but she has like some really good sustain like i was actually thinking about like doing like a weird like solo team up vids because i have like all of the I think about it. I have all of the freaking nice around it, like all possible sticks, like certain except for one certain blonde head. I'm coming for you, Black. And the other queen and shit, but she doesn't come out till next year with Summer Vargas. So, yeah, show the picture there. But yeah, no, I actually recommend like Tristan because hey, she can. Clearly, quick performance, yeah, but she sucks the life from everybody else, which she well, is apparently good at sucking, so. Giggity! In the ways you, well, I'll let y'all figure out that stuff on your own. But no, actually, she really isn't all that bad. Has, like, two ways of charging her MP, so she has, like, technically 60, she has, like, a 60% battery, which is actually kind of crazy for, like, a story lock unit, like, also, when it comes down to story like units, most of them are really not all that up to par of like in the skill set category. But the fact that she has so much utensil in her hit is actually kind of good. I ain't gonna lie. It's like very respectable. But uh, with her, she is just good. Like, Ali, just a really good unit. But I, I will recommend her very well she's not on the recommendation list, but yeah no that's that's like the few things i would do but the only difference between her and actual tristan because originally i was gonna put like basic tristan here but the difference between these two is tristan does more damage and have more of a team y kind of buff style kind of play style but she actually but over sif she's a lot more selfish which is a lot more better because She's actually not a bad good pick. Also, she is a archer, so she is good against a certain gorilla of a gate. But this isn't like 
freaking the early 20s like or like 2016 and around that time and era so yeah it's, she should actually just like rip her from a whole new one but yeah i hope you like her also she is redhead so you know you know me i gotta put at least a like i at least have to put a blonde and a redhead in my viz so so that that's like the last one i recommend or get her i recommend it yeah that's that's it uh, enjoy my regular un unstreamed wine video キャスターギルガメッシュウルクの危機に応じこの姿で限界したキサマの召喚に応じたのではないつけ上がるなよザッシュ Yeah So the reason why I'm saying caster go is like oh but he's not all that good He's not all that good yet Now he is a basic banner unit now a lot of people will probably be like oh but that's not good because he's just a basic banner unit and a lot of people are going to like just judge him off of that and i'm like you're right but to me i'm going to be honest if you're a new player coming to the game right you're a new player coming into this caster gill is actually really not that bad because the thing is you're going to run into a lot of assassins now in the beginning of the game no you're going to run into a lot of goddamn dragons and shit that's why we got the freaking heal heal freaking the savior of france for that but no he is going to become really really good in the future because my boy is going to get a update that will give him well i don't have a sorry but he will get another update where he will like become a support so my boy can uh, just for the vid just for the vid so he will become like a good support later online because he's going to get this kind of buff that's right on the screen now and it's actually really not bad at all but it's like this was like oh, it's not that much but i'm like yeah you also gotta realize it with him is he can loop is just double castoria setup and you have to have a few things here and there just to make him good but he's like really just not that bad of a unit like like right there like i almost got it if i had a castoria i'd probably be a lot more better but i don't have a castoria i have legitimately everyone else but but you might be seeing like a vid as early as freaking Sunday, but no, don't forget. Yeah, but no, I will say Gil won this one in my chance because I'm more of looking into the future of this. I'm more of one of the players that are like, hey, I'm very picky, but these units are getting buffs and these are really good buffs. So yeah, that's how I'm going to do. However, for the people that got to the end, thank you for enjoying the vid. And also, um, I might because I'm sitting here listening, like while I'm recording this, I'm also listening to someone stream in the background. Um, I might actually do Emiya Alter. I might, I might do him. If not, it's Avison, but there's like a couple, lot of people. I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna vomit who I want on the screen here and just call it good. This is one of my sloppy bits. And um, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want more raw dog content like this, where I have to get a video out before a certain time you know where to find me but if not yeah i'll see y'all next time laters yeah